What's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scavenger, and, uh, well, today I have myself a match against the Flaming Axel, also known as Raymond, a Russian pocket tuber and a generally good person that uh, I have a very tough time dealing with. He is, um, in previous battles that we had, um, he won me because he is a much broader stall capacity than I have and um, I had that in mind constructing this team and um, basically was preparing for some stalled pokes he's definitely bringing pokes that are you know defensively heavy but at the same time I think I can I cope with that he always brings one or two semi sweepers that are extremely potent and wall breaking ish which means that he has a good synergy on his team always and um, basically, I have a tough time dealing with that because he just he just is that good. So anyway, look at his team here. I got Petrishu, Kecleon, Mantine, Mistrevis, Tentacool, and um, Livany. And Livany is definitely his um, go-to sweeper, and Kecleon followed by that. And uh, you're gonna see a lot of Kecleon Dudrio because my team is designed to wall break, of course. So I have Valplume, Electivire, Malamar, Dudrio, Mr. Mime, and Raiden. And just looking at the team, my team is much, much more heavily, you know, accelerated. I have basically no real wall. Uh, I guess one that is a wall is semi ride on, but that's about it. Everything else is designed to uh, to bring pressure, to bring a lot of pressure, and uh, that is what I'm gonna live on. And I can't use my Malamar as long as Levin is around, so I have to keep myself uh, away from him and uh, at all costs just try to overpower my opponent. So, with that in mind, let's go! So, at the get-go here, I really expected my opponent to bring a Levine at the start out, and basically I was thinking that he was going to set up, uh, uh, what was it called? Not String Shot, but Stick Web, and uh, basically I had no reason not to go for Sludge Bomb, just do as much damage as possible, to be honest, because it's rather fragile anyway. Uh, but it goes through Jelly Time, and I think that's a very, very safe play, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, basically, he's gonna go for a knockoff here, and that will, of course, knock off my Black Sludge, which is extremely unfortunate. But one thing that he just get me on is that even though I have a lead seal on this, I really didn't think about the Liquid Ooze, that ability, and uh, it takes damage from me, and since I don't have any real recovery, I am forced to switch out, and I gotta switch out to Squall my um, Electa Wire, and since he got the better issue, I know I can't go for neither a Volt Switch, nor a Thunderbolt, so I have to go for Flamethrower, getting that neutral action going, and um, basically I knew that that was sadly my best bet at it, and uh, like I said, just go for Flamethrower, I was actually hoping somewhat they will go for Levani, worst case scenario, but of course with this with Volt Absorb, is it's actually extremely potent, plus it is actually extremely wally, Petrisha might not have the strength, but damn, we got the bulk, it truly got the bulk. Uh, so going back to Lingon, do expect him to go for a Super Fang, and just yeah, saying, I kind of saw Lingon as my best bet because I do get away the Toxic Spikes, which is important because I really can't have that one going down. So anyway, I did expect him to go for, uh, or to switch out, but goes for U-Turn, and uh, my Alestor is uh, somewhat caught here because he gets momentum, and uh, I really didn't want to switch out to anything here, and hoping I can survive an Exisor. But he shows me here that he is a life bulb, and uh, even though I am fully invested in defense, there is no way in hell I would survive that. And uh, basically here I thought that he will most likely switch out, so I went for a knockoff. And uh, I say, you know, that was probably my best bet here. And after this I do decide to go for a return, and he's gonna see right through that, and go to his mistreavers, which I know could, you know, it's very likely would do that. But I wouldn't have killed it if I gone for another knockoff, and... Uh, I went for a knockoff here just to scout out what it's gonna do. And it's gonna show me the Will Wisp, which is extremely unfortunate because that puts my Durio in somewhat of a limited utility. So I need to switch out, and I know that Valplume can kinda cope with this type of Pokemon. Uh, plus, I've seen it were very likely for him to go for a Pain Split. Uh, so, very lucky for me. Though my opponent will do a misplay here, we already said he 
um, put by accident another pain split who was actually meant to go for taunt. So sadly for him, I do pull off aromatherapy here, and um, yeah, basically I, I felt bad for him there because that was, of course is somewhat decisive. My Dudro is back on track, and uh, there is no real risk of me to switch out. I was kind of hoping for a sludge form poison. Uh, he's going for a will o wisp, and um, as long as the jelly time or you know tentacles around, I really can't sack off my Valplume. So when it goes to Livany here, I am actually forced to switch out. And uh, both stab from Livany is resisted by Dudro, so I know I can pull that off one time at least. And since the Misreavers are gone, I know I can go for return afterwards. That's the case. And a return should definitely be enough to deal with the Livany, and basically I can force him out there. I don't have Braver on my Dudrio, I have a Drill Pack instead, since I am Life Orb, so I can take the Residual damage and actually switch moves, because a Wall Breaker really needs to, you know, face whatever comes in, and I definitely feel that Dudrio can do that. Because Dudrio is awesome, I can't believe I haven't used it before. So anyway, the Gecko is coming here, and I really thought that, you know, either Sucker Punch or Fake Out, and I am very foreign, forced to switch out, so I'm going to Foreign and um, take that Fake Out, basically. And I was a little on the Twilight here on Gone, either for Rock Blast or for a Stealth Rocks. But I decided that Stealth Rocks might be the better bet in the long run. It's gonna go in for Mantine, and um, yeah, I was definitely <laughs> forced here to switch out. So I'm gonna go into Valplume, Zack Nitkin. Since the Tentacle is gone, I have no further use for my Valplume anyway. And uh, I decided to do a fake out here. Uh, that is, that I'm going to um, bring in my Electivire. Trying to force him to switch into the Patricio, uh, thinking that I'll go for uh, a Thunderbolt, but I'm actually gonna pull a double switch here. And um, the reason this is somewhat bad is that he did not fall for it. Uh, I had two po or two strategies in bound. I could either go for um, my Malamar, which would cook with this thing, or I could have uh, just gone for the Volt switch and gave the Patricio some HP. And uh, I they mean the bad misplay here, and this is what definitely what I should have done from the get-go, and because a Surf doesn't really do that much damage from a Mantine, and I, I knew that, I really did. Though I was actually, I needed the momentum, and I instead killed my Rhydon, which could have dealt with the Kecleon in, if it had Sucker Punch. So anyway, a Rock Blast is not enough, but I do get the flinch. And uh, it really doesn't matter because Livanese's Exister is more than enough to annihilate Malamar anyway. I just needed the Mantine out of the way to be honest. And like I said, some of a misplay there that definitely, definitely cost me a great amount of momentum that I actually had going. So anyway, Exister's coming, gonna annihilate Malamar. It's just that I, I said that Malamar couldn't cope with Livany and uh, it won the matchup, it really did. So I'm going to scroll here, and I am fast enough to be outspeeding and go for the plane roller, and uh, that is basically great because there's a Livany out of the way, and I had nothing to take an Exister for a Livany at that point. I just needed to go with it. So Patrice is coming in here, and um, I'm just gonna go for another flame roller and hope for the best. And it falls short, like one HP short, and that is <laughs> extra frustrating. So. Pulls out, you know, the super power, oh, not super power, the super fang, and you uh, basically will me down. So now the Gekko is here, and you, uh, I know a fake out is coming, but the biggest question is, does it have the sucker punch, or what does it have? What kind of priority does it have? So uh, he's gonna go for a shadow sneak, and that was, that was great. I could relax a bit, and I was basically begging to the higher gods, don't, don't have. Sucker Punch, because if that's the case, then I'll be lost. And luckily for me, my opponent does not have it. And since it changes the typing into Ghost, it basically means that a knockoff is super effective with a 130 base. And uh, yeah, that will annihilate what, whatever is in, to be honest. So, uh, GG Rain of this battle, you really had me going. Like I said to you, fuck this game. It was just. I had so much going for me, and I pretty much almost killed myself because of that. <laughs> that switch into ride on. So it's another thing I was actually thinking about was if my opponent Raymond didn't misplay the, um, the taunt against my Valplume and didn't get the burn from my from my Dudrio, then who knows might have, <laughs> what would have happened? To be honest, I probably been preserving my Malmar much longer if that were the case. But then again, I don't know if I could have coped with Patricia in the long run. 
Um, Raymond played a really good game. Like I said, he's very good at building defensively built team, which means that I need to play around that very, very offensively. And I almost killed myself because I played so offensively that you know I was always stupid at some points. And uh, you know that's what uh, you know good like uh, block players do. They try to, uh, or they don't really try to ball you out, but you know they get inside your head and really, really mess with you. And you know that. <laughs> that is magic that is worth mentioning to be honest. So like I said, Raymond, GG, you know, great game to be honest. I was very lucky to pull a last second win there to be honest. <laughs> I was actually great to be honest, uh, really cool. So with that guys, I guess I should say a little thing here. I'm gonna stream tomorrow uh, a little early. I'm gonna update that on both Twitter and I'm gonna mention it uh, an hour before morning uh, or before I stream that, you know, when it's starting out. So, uh, make sure to check that one out. Uh, it's gonna be my first room to capture card. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be weird, to be honest. Uh, I am very, very excited to see how that works out. I'm super excited, to be honest. Another thing, guys, um, I'm trying to find another, uh, pocket tuber to battle for my 200 battle. Uh, so, you know, we have like four uploads from wait from that. So, we make, that will be the question of today. Uh, which pocket tuber should I battle? Um, so with that in mind guys, you know, don't forget to like as always, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the sky is the limit, so have a good day guys, and take care, alright? Bye.